everyone and welcome to this cozy chit chatty book video today. I have not made a book video in so long for so many reasons and I actually started this channel and one of the backbones of the channel, one of the videos I loved making the most were book videos, book reviews, um, hauls and all that kind of stuff and I can't even watch the videos without cringing but this is an example. <laughs> I did make um, book videos and I used to read loads when I was younger. All through my childhood, always had my head in a book. My mum said that I was two years above my reading age at school, constantly trying to find new books to read. I loved a lot of young adult fiction when I was in my late teens. And then my 20s hit, life got in the way and I stopped reading. I just didn't pick up books as much, spend all my time on social media, doing more scrolling. I would only really read on a holiday. So I found that I'd always take a book on a holiday on a beach, you know, sun lounger, sitting by a pool, and I never had any book goals or reading goals. I didn't really know which authors I loved, um, and I just sort of lost my way with it. And then with the rise of BookTok and BookTube and people talking more about reading, it has got me um, interested. I was very kindly given a book for Christmas by Benji's mum. It was Giovanna Fletcher, Walking on Sunshine, which she is now actually borrowing. And when I got it, I was like really grateful for a gift, like a, the gift of a book, because I opened it and it wasn't the kind of book I would have normally picked up. I didn't know if I'd like Giovanna's writing and it inspired me to read again. So I read it pretty quick in January. And then in February we had some really tough news, a lot of bad news, one after the other after the other. I was feeling very sad beginning of February and I turned back to reading, went to my second book and that then started rolling. I went on a holiday, read a book and now I'm on book nine of the year, which I don't think sounds a lot because when you start like looking into booktube and people that read books there are people that read like 50 books a year like easy hundreds of books and there are people that can read books within a day or two and sometimes if I have the time I can read pretty quick if it's an easy read then I can read it pretty quick but some books take me like a month or two so I don't ever feel like I'm in competition or a rush to read lots of books I'm just trying to find my feet with it again so if you're like me and you're trying to find your feet you don't know what you like then I hope that this can sort of inspire you to sort of find the people and things and books that you love and if you're already an avid reader and you know what you love and you've got all the knowledge and you think you have any recommendations for me then feel free to leave them below I'm always really excited to hear what you have to say and I have a good reads account and lots of you like adding me as a friend or following my reviews I don't really know the big difference between them but whatever um, so I'll leave that link below for you as well pandemic wise I didn't read a lot but I did read lots of self-help books and my two favourites were Vex King, Good Vibes, Good Life and Glennon Doyle, Untamed. These changed my life, seriously. These books gave me so much knowledge and perspective of things and I just loved them and I'd really, re really recommend if you're in a bit of a funk and you want something to like lift your mood and spirit and vibe, these are the books for you. So I read those and loved them. And then this year I've been reading lots of women's fiction, romance and chick lits. So I actually wrote in my notes a list of authors that I've sort of come across that I've liked their writing and their books so far. So these are the ones I'm adding to all the time. And then on Goodreads I save individual books as well. But I jumped on the Beth O'Leary hype after I read The Flat Share, which is being made into a TV series, I think, or maybe a movie, but I loved Beth's writing. This was the first book of hers that I read. She has four novels, I've read them all, and this one was, oh, I wanna say it was my favorite, but then, I, guys, I read the no-show too. The other two she has, The Switch and The Road Trip, I didn't love as much, but these two I gave five stars to. I thought they were both brilliant. This is so clever, so gripping. You constantly want to know will they meet because they basically share a flat as it says on the title um but their work schedules mean that they don't they don't cross paths but they leave notes for each other and the way their relationship builds in the book is just so good so i really loved this and then the no show focuses on three women and then one guy that basically stitches them all up on valentine's day that's the premise of the book 
um, and you get to know all three of their stories, which doesn't give a lot of time to get to know each one and build up a lot of backstory, but you do start to put the pieces of the puzzle together and there's a bit of a twist in it and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Then I also read Emily Henry's Book Lovers, which has been doing the rounds on the internet. Everyone's talking about this at the moment. It was easy to read and really gripping, and Emily's writing just like hooked me in. I love the way she describes things. It was sexy, and uh, I loved how, yeah, how she um, describes the different locations. You, I really felt I was there. It was just very, very good. The characters were really likeable and I would actually read this again. That's how much I loved it. My to be read list is no surprise I have Beach Read. This is Emily's third novel. So um, actually I think this was her first, but obviously I've done things backwards. So I read Book Lovers first and then I just finished uh, You and Me on Vacation. It's actually called something else in the US. I think it's called like People on Vacation or something. Yeah, it, it's called You and Me on Vacation here. Didn't love it, really didn't love it. So I went from five stars to this, did not like You and Me on Vacation. So I'm feeling a little bit like, do I really wanna read this next? But I do have it obviously, because I did love Emily's writing in Book Lovers. So we have Beach Read, which oh, I'm not gonna lie, I keep getting them like mixed up. The other books I have to be read still is Matt Haig's The Midnight Library. I think this is gonna be very different to the other books I quite like reading, but I feel like it's one of those ones, it's like a rite of passage, you've gotta read it. Uh, so I've had this for a really long time actually and never got into it. Like I've never picked it up and gravitated towards it, but let me know if I should be reading it. Then I got this, another Giovanna Fletcher actually. This is Some Kind of Wonderful. Really liked her writing in Walking on Sunshine. Didn't love that book, but I really like her writing. And also, <laughs> it sounds silly, but like things like how the font is and how big the text is and stuff like that is important to me in a book. And I will talk about Kindle in a minute actually, but yeah, I actually saw this in a book sale they were having at my gym. So Benji donated some money and bought this for me. So that was quite nice. Um, it's always nice to pick up a book like that, isn't it? it? It had been read, but the person had literally put a mark on it. Page 17, so I folded it back. Um, and yeah, it's barely barely been touched, so I'm excited about that. It says, after celebrating a decade together, everyone thinks Lizzie and Ian are about to get engaged. Instead, a romantic escape to Dubai leaves Lizzie with no ring, no fiance, and no future. Lizzie's heartbroken, but through the tears, she sees an opportunity. This is her moment to discover what she's been missing while playing Ian's better half but how much has Ian changed her and who is she without him so I thought this would be quite nice as we went to Dubai we got engaged in Dubai in February so when I read the back I was like I kind of feel like I might enjoy that so I have that and then the last one I actually picked up in this works I whipped in there last week and I'm tempted to take you there today and show you the books because they had so many new good ones I've seen all over book talk um, and they were really good prices so this was only a fiver um, and this is by Ali Hazelwood, and it literally says on it, the TikTok sensation, the love hypothesis. Hypothesis, yes. <laughs> when a fake relationship between scientists meets the irresistible force of attraction, it throws one woman's carefully calculated theories on love into chaos. So I don't know if I'm gonna love this, but kind of looks like that's something I would love. A lot of these covers have these like cartoon people on the front at the moment, finding that's a lot of like, I'm gravitating towards these sort of things. I know it's Don't Judge a Book by its cover, but for me, it definitely is. I hear you say, Brogan, why do you need to go book shopping when you clearly have plenty of reads right now? Which is true. And I don't know which to start next, actually, so I'd love your opinion. Um, but I thought it'd be quite fun for us to go out and have a little look. I want to take you to my local library. I just joined last week. In fact, my local library is very small. I didn't like anything in there. Um, I really wanted to love the library as, you know, I don't always want to have to buy books and Benji's mum works in a charity shop so I can often find books there. But a lot of you told me about the library because if you join up to your local library, a lot of them have free eBooks that you can read. Um, so that's a great option. So that leads me nicely on to talking about my Kindle. I used to love reading on Kindle. Um, I don't think I've read many books on here. Sophie Kinsella, I've read I've Got Your Number, but I don't remember reading that, but it says I read it. I also started 20s Girl. I was 46% in. <laughs> and then I just stopped. And I have books like Olive by Emma Gannon. And I have Laura Jane Williams' R Stop. I've got a couple of books on here. I don't love a Kindle. I really, really am enjoying a physical book. I love 
the feel of it, being in the book, seeing how far in you are, the smell of the pages. Like there is just something so nice to me about a physical book. I come a bit attached to it and carry it around with me everywhere I go. So I love reading in bed or in the garden. So it constantly is moving upstairs and downstairs with me. Don't have to charge it, you know. It's just like, I, I don't know, I'm not Kindle converted again just yet, but I used to be. So I feel like I could be swayed back to Kindle, but at the moment, I'm not using the library for the ebook services, but I did think we could go to the big Bournemouth library. We have a massive library. I've, I literally have never been in there before. I thought we could go to this works and just see what's in there and have a little mooch and water stones as well. What new books are on the like table and just shopping for books from someone who's just got back into reading and finding my groove and maybe we'll buy a few books as a little treat today. So let's go book shopping. I'm excited. I have arrived in Bournemouth town centre and I'm about to go into the Bournemouth Library. So when I joined the library, my local one, last week, my library card gives me access to 12 libraries in the area and this one I believe is the biggest. So I thought I'd take you in there and we could just have a little look. I don't know what vlogging will be like, but if you haven't signed up to your local library before, I hadn't since I was a kid, uh, they just needed my ID so I just showed them my driving license with my address and it took like two minutes to sign up. They told me that I get three weeks on the books and they have like an online system where you can sign up for reminders and alerts when your books are due back. You can request books. I think there's like a, I think she said it was a pound to request a book, um, which is interesting. And I just thought I'd see what the experience was like. So this is the building. It's right at the top of Bournemouth Town Centre. Um, I do need some lunch too, so maybe we'll grab some lunch somewhere. But we're gonna go on inside, see what it's like. On first impressions, it's pretty quiet. So I'm not sure how easy it is to vlog, but we'll go on in. Okay, it's actually a lot bigger than my local one. I've got a teen zone over there. And then obviously everything's, um, in alphabetical order for authors but looks like we've got crime so we're going to be looking for romance is this romance no oh it's very hard to figure out where things are the thing that i am sort of struggling with with the library is that a lot of these books are like older and i don't love anything that's too old because i don't like the language or like the references or like it feels outdated does that make sense so i'm not sure like what's new and what's been out for like 10 15 20 years it's very busy out here but i want to talk about the library because i really struggled to find any of the books or authors that i have in mind because everything's basically together apart from crime and horror and then obviously like non-fictions but all the fictions they just there's just so much together i don't know i just couldn't find what i wanted um but i love the fact that you can get the app um i think what was it called borrow box i filmed a little clips so you can probably see that now but you can actually get free ebooks as well so if you would rather listen to audiobooks then um that's another incentive to signing up to your library but it's free and borrowing the books is free and um, maybe I'll look into requesting books or searching in their system to see if I can find the books that I want. I think I'm going to head down to the works now and show you the works because they had some really good books obviously I bought one the other day but I want to show you and then maybe we'll go to Waterstones and I need to get some lunch. This is not a shop I usually buy things in but actually they have loads of great stationery, back to school stuff, pens but we are here for the books and already you can see this poster they have Heartstopper they have lots of Colleen Hoover books and um, so we're gonna have a little look right first of all this one is a fiver and I've heard and seen so many great things about this I actually haven't read any of Colleen's books um, but five quid right already I quite like the sound of this what I'm gonna do is also go on Goodreads and check out the reviews of what people have given things but if we come over to here see what I mean this is really easy for me to shop this because this is a lot of stuff that I like. They've got Emily Henry's books down there. Um, then they've got a lot of, uh, oh yeah, Georgia Toffolo's books are in here, but these are only a pound, which is really cheap. Has anyone read any of Georgia's books? I don't know what they're like. I don't think this is for me, but I saw that my friend Megan read this and really liked it. I think it's a crime serial killer thing. A lot of you recommended Tessa Bailey to me. This is only three pound and I have just read the back and I love the sound of this. The very first line about it being a Schitt's Creek inspired rom-com is definitely my kind of thing. So 
yeah I feel like this might be one we pick up so all of you have told me that I need Taylor Jenkins read in my life and this one is one of the best sellers the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, but I feel like these are such good prices maybe we will get them all <laughs> I need an intervention well that was a success the works I really enjoyed my shopping experience in there because I had so many things that I liked so I ended up spending 34 pound on seven books I think it was so that's good must remember to bring a shopper bag though because I forgot one didn't think that through did I I'll be carrying books I honestly thought I'd only be buying one or two today but yeah no I had, had a little splurge it is quarter to two and I'm really hungry so picked up a Greg's sausage roll and a Ribena I'm just sat on a bench at the top of town eating it i did want to pop to waterstones but it's on the other side <laughs> um, which means i'd have to go up and down the hills and i'm not about that in this 30 degrees weather today so i think i'm going to drive to a quieter one at castle point all right i've arrived at castle point this is where you'll often find me here for the tk max and home sense um but they have a waterstones and that's where I'm heading. I'm gonna go and have a look at some books, as this is a book vlog. And we're shopping for books, obviously. <laughs> right, here's our Waterstones. We also have a Cafe Nero in here, and they've got a new, hang on this side, Flat White Over Ice, which sounds really nice. So maybe we'll pick up that too while we're in here, but let's go on in. Okay, I went down to the end at Cafe Nero first to get the iced flat white. Lovely, so I'm gonna sit and drink that for a minute, and then, I'm gonna go and look at books. Oh, they have self-help actually. Let's have a little look at self-help. Um, oh, V. V is a YouTuber. If you don't follow her already, she's honestly amazing. I haven't seen her book in person yet. Fascinating seeing that here. Congratulations. Oh, this is the book I really want to read. Oh, I've got this by the way, Alex Light. She's also um, like an Instagrammer. So I've got this already, but I really wanna read this. Like it's talked about so much. Atomic Habits. Tiny changes, remarkable results, over three million copies sold. I've never heard of this author or this book before, but I saw the little dog and I was like, oh my gosh, two lonely people, one good dog. You can pause to read this, but oh my gosh, how cute. They get a rescue dog. <laughs> Why do I want this? <laughs> Maybe because I can relate. I quite like this section here, actually. There's quite a few different ones. This is called Our Story. I'm just reading this, but um, yeah, there's a few actually. Lex is also another YouTuber in Famous, like a Bridgerton vibe. This is the bookseller favorite fiction. So we've got Taylor Jenkins Reid there, which I already picked up today. Have any of you read Sally Rooney as well? Because she's got quite a few books that people rave about. Um, what else is on here that I recognize? If you spot anything that you think I should definitely read, by the way, let me know. Cracking crime. Don't want crime. Look how lovely this Waterstones is though. I love it. I'm having quite a nice time, not going to lie. I remember reading this a few years ago. It's had two million copies sold. And it's a very love-hate book, but I really loved it. It was really good. It actually won book of the year. They've got buy one, get one half price on some of these. So there's the Tessa Bailey one. And just read the back of this and this sounded quite good. Red, white and royal blue. So I didn't buy anything in Waterstones. They had some really lovely books in there and it was a really nice shopping experience. No one came and pestered me, you know, and I quite like the layout of Waterstones. I do need to find some independent bookshops as well in my area, but I thought we'd go and study H. Miss and Fun fact, a long time ago, when I was 15, 16, WH Smith was one of my very first jobs. Okay, I wanted to have a look at what was in the front of the store in this section. We want to look at what's in the charts over here. Oh, it's two for £10. That's good, isn't it? My lovely friend Louise has a book out, a new one called Time After Time, and I have already finished and read this. I've read it really quickly, actually. It's currently half price in the bitch miss. It's a really nice, easy read. Um, so if you're looking for something light, buy a pool. This is really good. I did enjoy that. I haven't ever read any of Miriam Keys. So maybe hers would be good to pick up at some point. And also I really think Sophie Kinsella, I think her books are some I'm gonna absolutely love. This is called The Party Crasher on this table. But yeah, they've got some good ones in um, WHMS. Nothing's really taking 
my fancy. I've seen this book in quite a few places. The idea of you. Everyone in the world knows his name, but it's you he wants. What is that all about? Sexy enough for the beach, smart enough for the book club. This sounds fun as well. Life saving for beginners. Um, about a woman who gets divorced after 20 years, goes to Brighton and finds the Salty Seagulls Sea Swimmers Club. Um, so you get to know all the different people in the club. That sounds quite nice. There's quite a few um, Sophie Kinsella books here. And I also spotted, where has it gone? This. This is um, Amber from Love Island. And I saw my friend Katie has this. It's called Until I Met You. It was meant to be a holiday of the lifetime for Samantha, the launch of her travel blog, her best friend's wedding, and hopefully her own marriage proposal. I quite like the sound of this one. Oof, it is so hot and sunny. Right, that's enough book browsing and buying from me. Didn't get anything up here. Although I did have a nice time taking some time just for myself, putting my head in the first couple of pages of a book, reading the blurbs, checking out the covers. I'm really into the whole book world now and I find it like the book shopping experience all part of getting back into reading. So yeah, I had a nice time. I am now home. I'm absolutely pooped. I ran some errands with Benji and we had to get some curtains and some boring other stuff. And I thought I'd show you my books that I got from this works in the end. So I didn't end up getting any other books from any other stores. Um, if you have any suggestions or if you're locally to me, specifically if you're in Bournemouth area, let me know any like independence or any little bookshops I should be going into. But I am pretty much fully like stocked for the rest of the year now, aren't I? I can't imagine me getting through these books that quickly. But the first ones I got were all of the Taylor Jenkins Reads books that they had. So I just got them all as I was there. My friend Charlie absolutely loves them. And the most popular one is obviously this one, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which on Goodreads has had over a million reviews, which is wild. So yeah, I got that for a fiver. I actually didn't read the book, of, uh, the book, didn't read the back of any of the books. So I don't know if this is gonna be my kind of thing. Editing me here. I started this book at the weekend and I'm already over 50% in. I am absolutely loving it. It's so good. <laughs> Charlie also told me that I would like the others. So we have One True Love, Loves, Daisy Jones and The Six. And on the front, Reese Witherspoon has said, I devoured this in a day. Oh, this is soon to be a major Amazon Studios TV series. Must be good. And then Malibu Rising, which Charlie said she thinks I really like. This is a Sunday Times bestseller as well. And that was also a fiver. So I got those. I got the Colleen Hoover one, which I showed you. It ends with us. Again, the reviews were pretty good on this and I quite liked the sound of the back. So got that one. I got the Tessa Bailey one, which I showed you. It happened one summer. I think I'm gonna really like her books. She's got a few and I think one's called Hook, Line and Sinker. This one was only three pound. This is the one that is kind of like um, Schitt's Creek. And then this one I quite liked the idea of because it's about a wedding in Spain and she needed a, a date for her sister's wedding. And I quite like books that are around weddings, engagements, hen -dos, anything like that because I'm at that season of life being newly engaged myself. This is The Spanish Love Deception by Eleanor Armas. So these are all my new books. Which one shall I start next? I would love to hear. I probably actually have already started one by the time you see this video, but um, let me know if you've read any of these, which ones you've loved, and if you have any other recommendations for me. I feel really excited to get into these books um, and that I found my groove with reading. It's been a really lovely day. I hope you enjoyed joining me for this little cozy book video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you don't miss more. I would really love to know if you did enjoy this actually because it's sort of the first I've done in a very long time of anything like this so yeah let me know and I'll see you again in my next vlogs thanks for watching bye <laughs>